Hey everybody, this is Chance from Epic uh, here at E3 2016. I'm here with my good friend Thor Gunnarsson from Solfar. How's it going, Thor? How's it going, man? Yeah, it's going well. Great, great. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Everest, uh, an amazing VR experience uh, about, well, uh, Mount Everest, right? That's right, yeah. So, I mean, Everest VR is basically a uh, VR experience created in Unreal uh, that basically allows you to experience what it feels like to summit Mount Everest in the first person in an interactive scene. Uh, with AAA visuals and really beautiful scenery that looks near photorealistic in the in the uh, in the kind of experience of summiting the mountain. Gotcha. So you talk about summiting the mountain and um, photorealistic visuals. Uh, were those kind of your main focuses when you were trying to approach a project like this? Yeah. So, so I mean, we were thinking about our first product as a studio. We we really wanted to come up with a concept for something that was really accessible, uh, kind of a concept that everybody would get. Mm -hmm. And so in this kind of first year of VR. You know, if you're going to get one piece of content that you want to experience yourself or you know, show to your friends or family, the idea of going to the top of the world, going on the top of Mount Everest, seemed like a pretty obvious one. And so what we then, after we kind of thought, okay, that's an interesting concept, how do we actually get it done? And so we partnered with the visual effects studio RVX, who have done amazing work uh, actually on the film Everest, uh, where they were the VFX supervisors. They actually had a process for taking a database of photos and actually using stereo photogrammetry techniques to recreate basically the mountain in VR. Uh, and that gave us the standing you know, moment to basically then start working on the interactive scenes and getting the whole experience together. It, it's also very authentic as well too, like if you were to go climb Everest, these are the same things you would actually go through in today's age. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, Everest VR is not a, a technical climbing game. It's not a, trying to accurately simulate exactly how it would be to hike or climb on Everest, but what we really set out to do was give you kind of a sense of some of the mechanics that climbers use as they're getting up the mountain, uh, some of the challenges that they face, but more importantly also really visually immerse you in the setting. So we really set out to create this AAA experience that I, I think a lot of people are going to be pretty shocked at actually how graphically rich a uh, VR experience can be when they get to see Everest when it comes out. Uh, I can't wait to see what's here at E3. You know, you mentioned to me earlier that you've uh, changed it up a bit. Uh, yeah. What's different than what you've shown before? Yeah, so here at E3, we're actually showing uh, three, three chapters from the final product. Uh, so we're starting at Camp 4, which is the final overnight camp before you attempt the ascent on the following day. So you kind of start in Camp 4, coming in at daytime. There's a snowstorm happening. Uh, we're actually doing real-time simulation of snow particle effects using NVIDIA's uh, turbulence. Uh, GameWorks technology. Uh, you then get a nighttime sequence at Camp 4 and then you move on to the Hillary Step where you have to do the traversal of the single file ledge and we're using room scale tracking for that. You'll enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, and then basically we take you to the summit. So this is the first time they're actually showing what it looks like to be on the top of the world. Yeah, as the project um, progresses, how can people find out more and stay in tune with what's going, what's going on with both Solfar and, sure. uh, and Everest? Sure. So, I mean, we're at Solfar Studios on Twitter. Uh, that's probably, follow us there. That's the best place to kind of track what we're doing. Check out, you know, what we're doing also for the other platforms as we get further into the year. Perfect. Thor, thanks so much for chatting with us today. Likewise. Thank you.